I'm going to start with preliterate. This is this is the one that we'll we'll do first. And uh, I want you to take a moment, and I just want you to read what's here. Now we're gonna. This is all gonna fall under the preliterate stage. Okay, so just take a moment now. I'm gonna disappear and and just read it. I just want to talk about some of the vocab. Okay, take a moment now. Read it to yourself. Go. Okay, now I want to I want to highlight the keyword. So we have in preliterate, we have here this uh, drawing, scribbling, mock letter. So those are three important characteristics that you're going to see uh, in the preliterate stage. For example, like drawing. Do we have a drawing? And scribbles is going to be uh, used to represent very emergent writing, right? Or or some type of mock letters, uh, symbols that are that are supposed to represent, you know, uh, some type of letter. So the child is indicating that they have, they have an awareness that those scribbles carry meaning. So, so beyond just, you know, a random scribble, it's it's something that's approaching writing. Um, notice in each one of these stages here, uh, we have scribble stage, we have directional scribble. So this is going to be a characteristic that you might see, team. Um, I, you'll notice a lot of times in activities, the child will draw a picture, they'll write uh, some type of mock letters or scribbles below the picture, and then they'll orally indicate that these, this scribble represents something. So in this picture right here, it's my uncle is tall. Okay, now let's take this awareness of this stage here and, and let's do a question that involves uh, early writing at the preliterate stage okay so let's uh let's start with actually this question here thinking about this stage of writing take one minute read it to yourself go unfreeze i'm going to read it you can speed through this if you want to it says here uh a preschool child, so let's just circle preschool. And let's do that earlier end, so three to four-year-old, okay? Draws with stick figures and makes some unintelligible, unintelligible scribbles around it. When she shows it to her teacher, she points to the scribbles and says, this, is, this says, I love mommy. This behavior suggests a child most likely, A, is ready to learn the concept of letter sound correspondence, B, is beginning to develop awareness that words are made up of distinct phonemes. C has a basic understanding of the alphabetical principle, or D has grasped the idea that the function of print is distinct from that of pictures. Such an awesome question. This is from the old foundations reading desk. It's awesome because they were able to fit in a lot of ideas. You know what? When I read a question like this, and then I read some of those other new exams, even though this is shorter, they were more precise with their language, right? The new exams, they just seem to add to the new exams to come up with a new question, to make it more wordier. But you can tell when you read some of the new exams um, that some of it is a rewrite, <laughs> right? Okay, anyways, 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 let's, uh, let's go to this. Okay, so we have a preschool child, three to four-year-old. And you notice that word scribbles, it's used twice. So that's, that's a giveaway that we're in that uh, preliterate stage scribbles scribbles so so the big idea when you see scribbles and, and this thing that the scribbles represent something they're at that early early pre-literate stage they they um but they're indicating that uh, those scribbles carry some type of meaning and so so that's going to get us to our answer but but let's just cross out the ones that don't uh, match up it says the child is ready to learn the concept of letter sound correspondence so that means the child is ready for some what? Phonics. Not yet, right? In fact, we're not going to be able to do phonics until we have that alphabet knowledge, and that basic phonics. We won't be able to do ordinary phonics, letter sound correspondence, uh, until we have letter knowledge and all the sounds. Those both have to come together. The student has to feel, uh, have to have that automaticity with the alphabetical principle. Uh, to start to do the decoding process. So, and that's just the basics. So no, we're not quite ready to, for this one yet. How about this one right here? It's beginning to develop an awareness that words are made of distinct phonemes. Well, 
it's possible, but this activity here, if we go back preschool, is it a uh, is it a sound thing or is a is it a print thing, right? Scribble, whenever we see things like scribbles, that's that's scribbles is automatically a print thing. In fact, you see scribbles and writing of some sort. The scribbles is literally a print uh, early early emergent writing stage, right? So that is just a dead gift. That's your friend scribbles. Hey, <laughs> preliterate writing, right? <laughs> so so no, so it's not. We're not doing we're not doing a sound thing. We can cross that one off. How about this? Understand the basic principle of the under. Oh, sorry, has a basic understanding of the alphabetical principle. No, that we just spent some time on that one. No, the child is not yet uh, matching up uh, sounds with their corresponding letters or letters with their corresponding sounds. So they're not they're not doing that relationship, that predictable relationship between letters and their most their most common sounds. So we can cross that one off. So we're left with this last one here. And I think the clues, because these are all way too advanced for this preschool child, the clues is the scribbles. You see scribbles, and what you need to realize is that literally is the child indicating an awareness that that print, even though they can't do it yet, they know that print represents um, ideas and words and thoughts. Okay, let's go check out this. Uh, the answers here. It says here the answers D. It's from this practice test here. You said that was a good practice test, right? Uh, and we get these, uh, we get this preliterate stage of writing case study. We have, we have to remember that these are the ideas that go with that stage, drawing and scribbles and mock letters. We have this, uh, we're going to uh, know that this is indicating some awareness of print in that, that they are demonstrating the awareness of print here. Uh, it's not about phonics. It's not about the alphabetical principle. All right. Lots of great review here. Let's go to our next question, all right? Let's take a look.